Hello, happy homesteaders. This is Star Baby Homestead out here on a cold, partly cloudy winter day. It's about mid January, and I decided just to do a quick update on what's been going on here at the old homestead. Peach trees are bare, and I'm gonna have to. Uh, do a little bit of pruning on them. Um, we got a lot of peaches from this one over here. And uh, I'm going to do a video on it. I've never owned a fruit tree. I owned some fig trees uh, that from this house that we were renting back when we lived closer to the city. But I've never had my own on my own land that I needed to uh, take care of. And despite all of the crazy Japanese beetles that we got, I still got a ton of fruit from this tree. And um, that was just not even knowing what to do. But I've been doing some research. Stay tuned for that video. Um, yeah, a lot of work needs to be done on this thing uh, from what I've been, uh, the research I've been gathering. But I'm looking forward to it. The fire pit was empty. <laughs> and now it is full again because of all of the bushes I have been trimming and cutting down getting ready for spring and uh, there's the old Christmas tree haven't been able to burn because it's been super windy and um, dry Georgia is really dry right now it's crazy I don't know about you guys but I can't put enough lotion on. I'm constantly itchy, dry, ashy. I know you guys are like TMI, but <laughs> that is the state of affairs. And my husband's always telling me to wear my gloves because I started getting my nails done. And um, my hands are constantly still with dirt underneath them <laughs> and fingernails with dirt around them. And my hands get super dry, but that's the state of things. Um, when you love to be in the dirt, doesn't matter how cute your nails are, you are going to get in the dirt. But anyway, this winter is uh, definitely um, putting some wear and tear on the old body. And I've got humidifiers running in the house um, constantly because, you know, it's just super dry. This is the new bed that I decided to plop into... Um, the garden so check out how the expansion is going I've got a pretty good area here now as you can see I know I've got like tarps and stuff everywhere um, but I've been watering today and we've actually been getting down into the 20s here so I've been covering everything that is still left um, in the bed so my idea with this bed was to make this a nice lettuce bed. We eat tons of lettuce. And um, yeah, I thought, okay, I need a really big bed for lettuce and whatnot. Um, I wish it was the same brown as the other ones, but you know what? You can always spray paint something if you want it to all match. Um, Hubby likes his stuff to match out here. Um, so I might put him to work with doing some spray painting, <laughs> but I'm, I just need functional, you know? So the chart is looking good. I'm thinking I'm going to put some tomatoes in this bed. Um, the only thing about that is this particular, the chard that I grow, just like rainbow chard or what is it called? Um, something lights. I can't think of it but it's real pretty it looks like rainbow chard and um, this lasted me let me put it this way I planted um, over in the side garden you guys remember I had like six plants over in the side bed one is still there and it's still producing so <laughs> I'm not sure how much room I'm gonna have to uh, put some tomatoes in here once these guys really take off they're going to be here till spring unless I dig them up and just start them somewhere else. Um, got a few beets over here. They sort of came up. They're not growing much because it's winter and it is cold. So um, that may or may not be a spring harvest. All right, so come on over here. Ah. So get this hose out of the way. 
I've started planting along the fence. Well, not planting, excuse me. I've started getting this bed next to the fence ready for planting. <laughs> and the idea is to get a trellis to go here. And then I'm gonna stick a grape plant right here. I'm gonna start with one grape plant because I've never grown grapes and that might be a, a leap. But one, I, I'm okay with killing one, but not like a whole bunch of them. And then I need to see how big they're actually gonna get. But grape here and then probably some peas and um, the taller plants. We get a lot of wind here, so the idea is, let me come on down here, I'll circle back, is to plant Brussels sprouts and kale and some of the tall plants down here next to the fence where they won't get blown over so much. Um, this is gonna be the asparagus bed. Now it's at the end of this, in <laughs> the end of this uh, rise here. Um, it's a slight hill. That's more of the hill and the water is gonna come down here, but I'm hoping it won't just all wash away. As you can see, um, some water has gotten to it. I'm gonna play it by ear, but I think it would be a beautiful hedge here um, just to have the asparagus ferns and um, yeah so anyway that's the plan all right let's go back up I got my purple cabbages they are coming along great I keep them under cover and when I peeled these uh, uh, this fleece back you guys there was a lot of warmth under there so cover your plants I I am an advocate for it it's amazing um, they, they're pretty much untouch, untouched by frost. They're still growing a little bit slow, but you know, they're brassicas. And depending on if these cabbage, um, these are definitely what the winter type. So they're going to take like a whole season just to grow anyhow. Over here, I've got my garlic. Got some garlic up and looks like somebody has been in here. Uh, let me just just shove it back down in here cover that all right um <laughs> um the dog she's been over here but anyway and an armadillo but anyway um garlic is coming up pretty okay um i only have two lettuce plants from oh, and one of them looks like it's been covered um here's one lettuce plant looks like oh that frost got to it and the other one was, ah, uh, there it is, dog. Ugh, I don't know why she's in here. Probably because she smelled the armadillo. Uh, and I've been seeing some deer scat out here on the property because I still have areas of my fence that I haven't been able to repair. And the dog likes to eat them. Isn't that gross? That's why you don't let your dogs lick you in the mouth, okay? Because they eat poop. Um... Onions are over here. So what's going to happen with this bed, you guys? This, I think, is going to be my strawberry bed. Um, just stick the strawberries in there and just let them be. And there, it's close enough where I can kind of monitor them. Um, I thought I was going to stick them maybe down there where the asparagus were. But that's too close to the fence. And I can't trust that, you know, squirrels aren't going to just run. I've seen them run along the fence to do Lord knows what. Um, and I want my strawberries all the way down there at their mercy. So I think they're least likely to get into this bed in the middle of the day if it's uh, close to the house. That's the plan. <laughs> so by the time these onions are, you know, ready to crop, I'm just gonna plant strawberry plants in between, um, in between them. So I haven't ordered them yet. I know I need to get busy because uh, there's some great sales going on and I need to uh, really make use of them. All right, guys, so cauliflower. <laughs> so I thought this was an early variety and I must have read the packaging wrong. I thought it said, what, 90 days? It's been 90 days. Um, so I'm just gonna just hold out for these to um, maybe do something in the spring. There's no heads. Um, just curled up leaves. Um, so this may be 
Um, I don't know. Uh, not There's not a head to be found. I'm wondering if these just might be some delicious uh, greens that I'm going to be sautéing up. <laughs> because they're growing and they look beautiful, but you can tell some frost where they, the cover has touched them. That's where the, the burn is here. Um, but, yeah, yeah, alright, so... Anywho, Saga with the Cauliflower uh, continues. I've never grown it, so I have no idea. But I think that's it. That is my, um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you. So remember when I said you lop the heads off of the cabbage, or you just chop them down at the base? Look, this is a, Cassie, you get, ma'am, okay. <laughs> this is what you get, at least from this particular um, cabbage hybrid that I have. So there's the heads. That one's not ready yet. And that's what happens when you get your second harvest. And they're like tiny little, they're like tiny little heads on here. I don't know how big they're going to get because this is my first time trying this, but I'm excited about it. Here's another. I think they're pretty, like little cabbage flowers or peonies right and then you've got the little ones that are growing here see awesome but that's it you guys until it's time to start planting again that's pretty much all I have um, oh let me show you the destruction that I have <laughs> uh, so my husband calls me a bush's worst nightmare and this is the truth I cannot stand a bunch of bushes and people landscape with just using just bushes all over everything so <laughs> bye bye <laughs> there's one still standing because I thought I would prune it into shape but I kind of want to just start fresh meaning just cut it down um, like I've done the rest of these and then let it grow back um, the way I want. These things were so tough that they they broke my hedge clippers. They're just not clipping as well. Um, I tried to, you know, I don't know, do something with this one. So the plan is I'm taking out every single one of these except one here and the one on the end to frame the house. Okay, simple. This will probably be some cute little sitting area. I dug the three bushes out that <laughs> were in front here. I don't know if you remember that big old hedge. Got rid of that. Um, got some work to do. We got to sand the entire um, porch, redo the stairs. But I started on this bed because I want to start sticking some flowers in there ASAP. So I got these... Um, these stones from Home Depot. I need to get a few more over here. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I haven't figured out what I want to do, but I know I want to start with a nice white um, flower. I forgot what they were called, what I wanted to do, but what are your suggestions? Okay, so as you can see, there is no gutter on this house. So when the rain comes down, it goes right into that space you see right here. So about an inch from that, um, what is it? Fence? It's not a fence. Whatever this pickety stuff is that they used. <laughs> they had ivy all over here and I got rid of that too. Um, so I can only plant probably up into this area here just to keep it from being, you know, whatever I plant being destroyed by, you know, the rain coming off of the roof. But so I'm thinking at least one or two different layers of flowers, something white perennial growing along the edge, and then a second row of something pink or red or just a nice pop of color. I know these hydrangeas here that are kind of dormant, I believe they're blue, maybe white. I'm not sure. Um, they didn't even come up this spring, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, that's something else to deal with. But what are your ideas? Um, what do you think I should do with this bed here? Um, we're also going to put a railing in. So, um, 
that's that itchy tree and i call it the itchy tree because i have never been so allergic to something in my life if i even just touch one of those leaves i break out in some kind of itchy rash so as soon as i get my chainsaw i'm gonna have to go buy another one um it crapped out on me <laughs> while i was chopping the thing down so now i've got to go buy another chainsaw and i've got to get a a grip on this ivy since it's growing up underneath the siding of the house it is a mess um hubby doesn't want me to get rid of it but <laughs> i don't know uh, it's days may be numbered there's honeysuckle in here and like saplings from like oak trees and stuff it's just a mess so here's another hedge so what i'm probably going to do is the same thing i did with the other end i'm going to leave a bush here on the end and a bush here on the end but i may not even leave a bush here on the end just one here to frame the house and then as it continues to grow i might make it columnar i think that would look good Maybe I can keep from like completely like cutting this one all the way down. <laughs> that one on the edge looks awful down there. Um, but you know, I'm, I'll play with it some more, but you know, these guys have to go. Now, the funny thing is if somebody were trying to like, this is like our bedroom, you know, if somebody, they're not going to climb in through that window cause they would have to be super tall to get up there or use a ladder. Guys, look, look. Look, look where I live. Who's, who's breaking in? Who's, who's out here trolling the neighborhood looking to break in the... <laughs> I'm so, I'm so not concerned. Okay. So, um, and I have lived in the city. If anybody's going to break in your house, they're going to do it there. Um, so anyway, yeah, these bushes, their days are numbered. So... That is what I have been working on. Um, I'm actually surprised I was able to dig these bushes out by myself. Um, nice workout. Farm work is a great workout. So if you get a mild day, um, you know, get on out there and it's, it's a great way to build muscles. Swinging a pickaxe around, using a shovel, hauling bushes up to your fire pit. Um, this bed over here, I'm thinking peonies. I love them. Am I saying that right? Peonies, peonies, uh, um, lilies are uh, sleeping right now. Guys, I'm going to have to move this, um, planter because once again, rain comes off the top here and slams into this. It splatters dirt all over the place. It's not working, so I've got to figure out a place to put them. Uh, this one, and I might just put it out in the garden um, next to the side of the barn. Um, yeah, it's just the idea that I had is just not working, the whole vision. But lavender plant is just ridiculous. It is a huge shrub, and it's overtaking everything. I'm probably going to have to uh, prune this up. My mint is growing. <laughs> it actually went dormant for a minute, but here we are. It's growing again. And, um, yeah, everything else is just, they're acting like it's spring already. I trimmed this lily and it's coming up. Remember I had a bunch of them. I snatched them out. Um, yeah, just didn't, didn't want to deal with it. Um, so that's it, you guys. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Again, it's probably about 50-ish now, but we've been getting down into the very frigid um, 20s, and I think we may have hit the teens last night. But um, I got issues going on. My well is acting up. It's going to need to be at least the, the uh, what is it, the water balloon in the bladder and some of the hardware on top of it needs to be replaced the pump's working fine and then my heat um it could be that we need a new motor um <laughs> welcome to the country um <laughs> but you know what this is this is life right um stuff just happens and um we just have to 
go with it. Living out here in the country and homesteading, life's just a little bit harder. Our homes are um, a little bit more exposed to the elements. So we just have to do a little bit more. But you know what, guys? I'm still blessed. And I am happy that it is mine. And I'm growing my own food for my family. And um, what more can we ask for, right? So Cassie and I are going to sign off here. I hope you all are having a wonderful January start of the year. Be well, be blessed, and we'll see you next time.